Welcome back. So now for this editable ALV report, we'll display the data in the output. Fine. So for that, here we'll write perform display underscore data. Okay. Now we have the data in GT underscore list we need to display. So now we'll use the same concept which we have used for the purchase order LV report. We need to display the data is the function model reuse underscore LV underscore create underscore display underscore LVC. This function model we need to use. Before that, we need to build a fill catalog. Okay, with the count, counter, the fill name, the column text we want to display. So this data declaration will do. There are different function model. We are using LVC. That's why for the fill catalog, we have to use this LVC underscore T underscore fill catalog. I already explained all this in our first LV report, that is purchase order. Okay, so this fill catalog we have to use for our display. This is internal table, this is work area, this is for the layout, this is for the variant. Okay, great, and this counter. So as it is, same data I will use here. Okay, and now first build the fill catalog. The fill catalog means, see not necessary like the columns which we have here should get displayed in the output. We can exclude some columns. We can uh, display the columns with the different field names. Okay, that all we can achieve through this fill catalog. Fine, so here, Again, the one I will use for that fill catalog, the first one we'll use, and we'll just add all the fill details in the same. We'll just add the fill details in the same. Okay, this as it is, we'll use. Like clear the GV counter, clear the fill catalog table, and the work area. Column optimize that the column will get automatically optimized and one box column. Okay, if I execute this, what is mean by box column? Whenever we run the report, so here we see, okay, here it is not coming. Maybe the data is not proper. So one box column is there. We have seen in our previous report. So that column will appear in, in this report. I will explain you. Okay, and here we have to pass the field name and the text. Okay, so my first field I want in the output is the customer ID. Now I will follow this. My first field is the Kunna, that is the customer ID. This field I want to display first. So I will write here Kunna. Okay, and here we can write customer ID. Hot spot as of now I will keep as it is. This is used if you want to navigate to further. That also we can learn. Kunna customer ID and hot spot I will keep as it is. Now my second field is name one that is a customer name name one customer name okay and then similarly we have to add all the columns here all the fields one by one my next field is telephone number right telnar underscore long then we have BUKRS Belnar GJHR. Okay, so my next field is Telnar underscore long. So we can here write mobile number. Next three field we have BUKRS Belnar and GJHR. So I will write here BUKRS, that is the company ID. company code okay BUKRS Belnar and GJHR the second field here is accounting document type let's say document number sorry document type need document number and then we have fiscal year that is GJHR Okay, GJHR is the fiscal year. This is called 
fiscal year fine after fiscal year i will just copy all the fields there so i don't have to like navigate back okay so after fiscal year we have due date we will call that as a invoice date okay the next field is the bu date we'll call this as a invoice date invoice date and this zfb date i don't require in the output so i will remove that side item that is the due date okay what which date i mentioned that due underscore date if you want you can take that fb date also but here i am directly mentioning the due date and always type this field name in capital okay if by chance if you are typing in a small letter that will not come in the output the column will not appear in the output due date that is the invoice due date okay so due date is also done so my next field is bl art that is a document type bl art doc type and after bl art we have xblnr just reference xblnr i will give here this is the reference this is the reference field r e f e r e n a c reference field sorry this is the reference document and after that we have amount currency remarks and two fields okay so after that reference we have the next field as the dmbtr dmbtr and this is the amount we'll call this as the invoice amount okay and i want to display this in a different currency a different color so in the field catalog there is one emphasizes there then we can use color code one to seven. I will use C five. That is green color. I will display here. I will display here the currency. Next is currency. W A E R S. W A E R S. That is the currency. For currency, I don't require this. Okay. After that, we have last two field. That is the remarks and the promise date. Okay. This is the remarks and P date. That is promise date. So last two field we have to add here, and last two field will be editable. Last two field will be editable. Okay. So here we need to add remarks. Let's say. Follow up remarks and P date that is the promise date when customer has promised to pay the payment. We can just write as the promise date. For this, we need to give the field reference of the table custom table we need to create right to store the remarks. Now, till now we have built only the field catalog, so we need to call our function model to display the data in the output. Which function model we need to call? It is reuse underscore alv underscore create underscore display underscore lvc, and all this detail we need to pass reference program in the callback sci repid user command if you are using the layout the field catalog okay the variant and important our table which we want to display in the output. So all the details we need to pass here. So how to call the function model? Click on pattern, enter the function module name, press enter. Okay, so always, always first open all the exceptions. So, which table you want to display in the output? GT underscore list. Fine, GT underscore list we want to display in the output. Control and get a and sign to uncomment this. The first is the Psi callback program. So, which is the callback program? Psi R E P I D. As of now, I'm not using user command. We'll add that later. Okay. And and the default 
x we can keep as it is save to allow to save the data variant okay in the variant and the fill catalog two important thing so gs underscore variant in the save we have to pass s gs variant and here we have to pass the layout and the fill catalog okay so here this will be a and gs underscore variant and here we have fill catalog what is the fill catalog here what is fill catalog name or gt underscore f cat right before that let's pass the layout gs underscore layout and gt underscore fill catalog save check an error as of now no error okay so what we have done we have declared the data for building the fill catalog we have built the fill catalog complete manual process and after that now we are trying to display the data in the output using this fill catalog using this function model okay and i will execute this i will execute the report select the variant See, in the output, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six records because six records were there. Okay. And now because, because here I give the hot spot. So we can see that option here to click this clickable, right? But we're not written any coding. And for invoice amount, I given the emphasis C5. That's why here we can see the green color. Now we don't have, now what we want, we want this column to be editable. Okay, and this save button will also to be enabled. Okay, now first how to make the field editable, how to make that column editable is very simple. To make the field editable, js underscore fcat edit equal to x. Very simple. js underscore fill cat edit equal to x after that we'll add our table name and field name here but as of now just check whether the field name is coming or not whether the columns is becoming editable or not that will learn we'll check first fine if i execute this see now we can see the column as editable and the save button is also enabled now okay so you can enter here. We'll also, once we give the reference here as dead reference, we'll get the dead selection option here. As of now, we can type here. As of now, we can type here. Okay, invalid date. We can type the date manually. But to give the pop-up, we have to give the field reference and date. That we need to do. Fine. So now, once we open that once we make that editable, so we can see the save button also in the output. So in the previous lecture of LV report, we have also learned how to handle the user command, this user command, fine. The same user command I'm going to use again. The same user command I'm going to use again. Okay, so here, what we have to do, we'll write here, this form user command, Okay, using r underscore ucom like sci ucom. Okay, the same concept of previous LV report we'll use here. And based on that, we can do the coding case sci ucom. End case. Okay, now when. So what we have to do? First, we have to check the which command is getting trigger. Fine. So it is end form. Okay. So what we'll do now? See this user command using this sci using this r u com like sci u com and rs underscore cell field of type this. This user command we have to add here. 
is a command. Okay, create one form and form you drink. And now first check the first just set a breakpoint to check the which user command is triggered. I will set a breakpoint here and we'll execute that report again. We'll execute the report again. Okay, now here, if I enter any data, if I enter any data, if I click on save, so the breakpoint is getting triggered, right? Go to desktop three. Here we get to check SciEcom. So we can see and data underscore save. So when the SciEcom is and data underscore save, then we have to write our record. Now if I check GT underscore list here, see even though I enter some, yeah, we can see the text here, but if sometime it is not coming, we can use one grid refresh option. It is better to use that, okay? So in the remarks column, we can see this remarks. Fine, so till now we are able to display the data in the output. We have made the field editable and we are able to click on the save button. And we can see that SciEcom is and SciEcom is and underscore save. Fine, so next what we have to do, see those remarks should get stored in some Z table. Whenever we enter the remarks and dead, that should get stored in some custom table. Okay, so the next time when we are running the report, those remarks should get displayed in the output. That is the first thing. And if you change the remark, it should get overwrite. Okay, so our next task is to create a custom table to store the remarks and display those remarks in the output. That we'll see in the next lecture. Thank you.